Hello everyone, I am Catechus, and today we will be continuing our guided walkthrough for A Legend of Mana. Last episode, we attempted to be a bartender, but realized drinking is way better, so we quit. This episode, we will help out a Sahagan in the desert, and how he got there, what he's doing there, we'll see. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Oh, where are we at? Oh, here? 18 and a half hours, only two quests left, and then we can finish. Hot dog, we're so close. All right, here we are. Cactus, do your thing. Write, write about me and my drinking problem. Have fun. <laughs> All right, so for today's episode, called The Wimpy Thuggling, we're going to want to go to the Duma Desert to help out as a hoggin. Not entirely sure why he's there. However, before we go there, we have to do something first. We got to go over to our corral. Throughout the game, we've been collecting uh, monsters from the field, in addition to the one that we got from the Monster Corral quest. And we have too many, so what we're going to want to do is sell one of them. Conveniently, little for sale here is going to have to go. <laughs> I forgot I named him that. We're going to keep the others because, you know, they're cooler, I guess. I, I don't know. Anyway, in short, I have five pets. You can have four maximum when starting the quest. So we're going to get rid of for sale. Why, hello there. I'll give you a really good deal for your dear pet. Let me take a look. Hmm, how cute. Hmm. Yes, delicious indeed. Uh-huh. I'll give you 50 bucks. Uh, sure. Are you going to eat him? Fabulous. Here's 50. Uh, yeah, yeah you're going to eat him. Call me anytime. Uh, have a good time at the ranch upstate. I mean, have fun. <laughs> Yeah, so we totally just did not sell him to be um, eaten at all by a crazy woman. There we go. We have four pets in our corral. Another thing is you cannot bring a pet with you, so we don't have a pet. Easy peasy. Now we can head to the world map. And what we're going to want to do is head over to Duma Desert because there's a weird Sahagan in the desert instead of the ocean. Figure that one out. Now that we're here, um, I will warn you, this place, the boss of this quest is actually kind of challenging and, and has KO'd me before, as much as I hate to admit it. So make sure you have a really good weapon, like our two-hander that we got from Deathbringer 2, Electric Boogaloo. Now, to start the quest, what we're going to want to do is go right from the entrance. And uh, here we go. Get lost, crybaby. You aren't a real Sahagin. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tickle's just a roly-poly good-for-nothing. This guy's name is Tickle. All right, uh, fine. You know what I'll do? Uh, no, tell me. I'm gonna I'm a go and beat Kima. Huh? You're gonna beat Kima? That's right. I'm gonna crumple him up and shred him into pieces. <laughs> well, we'll be seeing you all shredded up more like it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Poor guy. Sigh. I sure put my foot in my mouth this time. <laughs> there we go. Wimpy thuggling started. Oh, and we just materialized. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is talk to the Sahagan. Hey, what do you want? I don't have time to chat with you. I got to get going. My target's Kima, but I can't possibly beat him alone. H have you tried the power of friendship? Actually, you look strong enough to beat him. Thank you. Do me a favor, come beat Kima with me. I want to show the others that I'm good at being a monster. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's go. Let's do this. This way, this way, the earth trembles when Kima moves. Okay, so that's very important. But first, let's check out our new pet, the Sahagan. Now, right now, Tickle the Sahagan is a temporary pet. He will leave us at the end of the quest. And he's level one, so he's terrible. He's actually not 
good at all. <laughs> well, that's because he's level one. What do we expect? Now, what he was talking about with the earth moves when, I don't know, Kima, I forgot his name for a moment there. So that means that's how you identify which route is correct. For instance, if you went to the south here, it's just like you went to the south, nothing happens. That is the wrong direction. Now, if we went to the direction he wanted us to go, top right here. Yeah, oh, the earth be quaking. Kima's tremors are coming from this direction. Yep, so that means we picked the right way. Luckily, I have written down which ways we need to go. So now we got to go to the top right, which means we got to get uh, breaking all these skeleton bones. Who were just able to sleep through Kima's um, quaking of the earth there. That's a heavy sleep. All right, now that they're dead, well, dead, or we can go to the top right. Yeah! Kima's tremors are coming from this direction. Thanks, Eagle Eye. I would never have noticed. Anyway, now that we're here, what we're going to want to do is go right again. Yeah, thanks, Eagle Eye. They're coming from this direction. And just keep going right. Take out these mallards. Hopefully, a uh, little tickle here won't get any of the experience points. Because again, if you're... Ah, he leveled up, like, a lot. Probably. Crap. Because if you're trying to min-max your monsters, the last thing you want to do is have them level up significantly. Because you can feed them produce at the barn, and that'll perma-raise one of their stats. And But you can do that once every level up, so you can really min-max them there. Anyway, enough talk about that. We just want to go to the right. She still be quaking. <laughs> yep, thanks, guy. Now, again, we're going to want the top right. Because where we are now, if we were at the entrance where we met uh, Tickle here and we went south instead, we would eventually get here. But we didn't have the tremors. So once we go up here, the new path wouldn't be present. There we go. So normally in the right direction here, there's a waterfall of sand that blocks our path. But luckily, all the tremors kind of removed that obstacle so we can go to the right. How? How is there any earth left with all these quakes? Good gravy. Anyway, black roach. Cool. That's neat. And some monsters. Mole bear. <laughs> Just because you brought friends doesn't mean you're going to be able to beat us. I'm sorry, but you're just too weak. There we go. And they're all dead. All right. So now we're going to want to start going up in this direction. And it's just straight up shot until we get to the boss. If there's any earth left. Oh, there's that music I love. All we, got, all we got to do is walk to the center. And again, very annoying boss. This guy loves to spam specials. It's really hard to get an attack in on him. So he's going to take a little longer than normal. There we go. Level 42, Kima. Kind of like a grass worm. Oh, and he loves to flip you like that, which is really annoying. Uh, watch out. Yeah, there we go. So some of his main attacks are he'll just shoot his face out at you. Or he'll do this on a bunch of exploding pumpkins, I guess. Just stay out of the blast radius. And this is this is the fight. Uh, dang it. <laughs> There's another one where he'll go into the ground and he'll jump up and down and like around the map. You're, you're probably going to get hit just get lucky I guess this is what I mean we've been hit a couple times and we're already down 21% of our health this guy is annoying frustrating and has killed me in the past oh I picked the wrong I did not mean to go over there we're gonna try ah uh, no he already started a special dang it luckily he's not like the Jin. he doesn't heal himself from his attacks but Again, here you go. Another freaking special. Just, oh, this fight takes forever. Come on, let me chop, chop you down. You don't have much health. You just... 
stat block. <laughs> you just attack block me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Since that does like 10% of our health. Okay, we got a couple hits in there. Oh, poor Sahagin. You never had a chance against this guy. You just gotta get lucky. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Again? Oh my god. Boss is the worst. Oh, there we go. Now he's gonna start jumping. Hopefully he doesn't hit us. I really wish we would have brought the crouch command so we could get some health back. Or this is gonna suck. Ow. We're already down to 48. No! I got like nothing. The evade command would have also been amazing for this fight. Uh, you're gonna do, yep, there we go. You're doing the pumpkins. Don't hit me. We're gonna get behind him, get a couple. One, never mind a couple. I was wishful thinking. Come on, give me, give me a good string of attacks here. I got one again. Oh my God. <laughs> This is what happens when you don't mow your lawn and <laughs> the weeds get out of control. Come on, pumpkin season, I guess. How many times is Tickle gonna die <laughs> in this fight? Oh my God, we're so close, we're so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Step, 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 step. Yes, we got him. We got him. Yeah, this is what I mean. He's one of the hardest fights in the game because he's a spammer and a jerk. Dang it. He got a lot of that experience points. Dang it. <laughs> but we also get a flat seed. We got a big choice coming up. Oh, and a spiny seed. Anyway, we get some seeds from killing him. Now we have a decision to make. Oh, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm going to try to be a fighter just like you. Uh, good luck. But I'm not gonna just try to become a hero. I will become one. Oh, and I have another favor to ask. Okay, can I have the stuff Kima dropped? I think it'll give me courage when I'm feeling cowardly. All right, so here's our decision. We can keep it, but we don't really need it because it's just seeds that we can get in a lot of places. Or we can give him the seeds and then he can become our pet. So we're gonna give him the seeds. Really? Thanks. Well, I guess we part ways now. Next time they pick on me, I'll fight back. It's all because you showed me what real courage is. Uh, dude, you're still like level four. You're gonna die. <laughs> but there we go. Wimpy Thuggling, done. So yeah, like I hinted before, we can recruit the Thuggling. So what we're gonna do, head back into Duma Desert. And if we head to the right, out of this uh, first entrance area here. There he is, still walking, all Sahagin-like. And if we talk to him, hey, it's you. I want to go with you. Uh, yeah, okay, let's let's do it. There we go. Free Sahagin. He's our buddy now. He's a, he's a pet. And that's because we still have an empty slot in our corral. We have all five slots filled now. And we gave him the rewards from the Kima fight. You have to do both things to get him on your team. There we go. Now that that's done, we can finally head home and wash all the sand out of our hair. I mean, talk to the cactus so he can write this quest in his diary and we don't have to do it again because trophy. Well, I guess before that, we should probably drop Sahagan off at the corral. Hey, bud, you go play with the others. Bye. <laughs> Promise not to sell you to be eaten like for sale. <laughs> All right, now we can head home. Out of my way, twerps. Hey, bud. Guess what I did today? Sandstorm. A little bit. That, that's actually pretty close. More like an earthquake, but... Close enough. Anyway, 
I think this is where we're going to call it quits today. This has been part 35 of our Legend of Mana guided walkthrough where we help the wimpiest of thuglings become a hero. Stay tuned for the next episode as we do one of the more annoying and frustrating quests in Domina. And if you like the episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks!